Hello everyone, this is attorney Ayan Agmin and today I'm in front of you to discuss one of the latest news that we have in immigration. As of today, uh, US uh, Immigration and Customs Enforcement came out with a new announcement actually. With this announcement actually, students on F1 and F1 visas won't be able to remain in the US if all their fall classes are online. So international students in the United States on an actually F1 or M1 student visas won't be able to continue their studies in the fall if their school only offers online classes. The ruling comes actually as uh, schools across the country try to refigure out how to deal with the COVID-19 and then how to, you know, actually manage the students appear to their classes via online or, you know, have some of them appear in the campus. So they're trying to figure out how to approach to for the fall semester. Of course, actually, what this announcement makes it clear, students enroll in a school operating entirely online must either leave the country or transfer to a school that is offering in-person classes. And if the students don't do that, they may actually face immigration consequences, including but not limited to initiation of removal proceedings. The Department of Homeland Security Student and Exchange Visitor Program normally actually limits the number of online classes a non-immigrant student can take under a student uh, visa program. ACVP officials had relaxed those limits for the spring and summer actually semesters due to coronavirus, but the new order eliminates those temporary exemptions for the fall 2020 semester. And we also see that with this announcement, U.S. Immigration Custom Enforcement Program, which is a CBP program, actually uh, makes it mandatory for the schools to issue actual new I-20s to students with the new actually updates and regulations, where actually they would want to mention actually in I-20 that the students will be attending and most of the and you know, attendance will be in-person attendance in the schools. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to actually get the I-20s to attend the school. The SCVP program also mandates the schools to report what their plan will be, how is their operational change plan will be, basically whether the schools will offer entirely online classroom programs or will not be able to actually reopen for the 2020 fall semester. So this is why uh, it's going to be you know interesting to see uh, how actually new COVID-19 rise or the numbers are going to affect the situation. It's interesting because where states are actually in a place of pressuring, let's say, the schools not to reopen or do more, you know, online studies, whereas the federal government tried to push to reopen the economy, to reopen the actually schools for the fall, kind of, it's a huge clash between those two state rules and actually federal rules. As you can see, it's going to be interesting to see how is the coming days going to be. But based on this, you know, the ruling today, the schools have to comply. Schools have to actually report to SEVP their, uh, whether they're going to be fully online or not for the fall semester, or they're not going to reopen for the fall semester. So they're going to have to give this operational change plan to SEVP, actually. And schools have to issue new I-20s, actually, starting actually next, next month, beginning of August, to all those international students where they actually showing that the whether students will be actually attending in-person classes or not. Based on that, it's going to be showing whether they're complying or whether the students are complying with the actually in-person attendance rather than online courses. With these changes, with this ruling, we're going to have to see how it's going to play out. What we're hoping though, if, you know, as long as the coronavirus numbers, if it goes down, then yes, then hopefully the fall semester will be, you know, the schools will be able to reopen it. But if that's not the case, and we're hoping that most likely U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement and their ACVP program will be able to come up with a more relaxed ruling for the fall semester. I hope this helps you. And hopefully if there's any new actually improvement or any news about this, we'll be able to share with you. Thank you so much.